So I've got to the point where I want to save my project. This should be pretty straightforward, right? So let's see what happens when I click on the Save button. I'm going to browse to my project folders and create a new project. Click on Save. What I wanted to point out here, however, is what happens when you click on Save and create a backup file. I'll click on Save again. The project file has now been renamed to 0001 and we still have our current project file. Let's try that again. So there we have 0002, 3, and once more for luck. Notice how we have only three backup files. This is defined in options on the Save As command. If I go to the Application button, click on Save As, Project, and then click on Options, I can define the maximum number of backups. Just be wary that you don't open one of the backup files, as you will lose work. This process changes significantly when we activate work sharing, which we will look at in the next video.